All right, today I want to go over another New England Patriots 2025 NFL draft target. Highlighting Harold Fannin Jr., tight end from Bowling Green, who has emerged as one of the top players in the 2025 NFL draft. Standing at 6'4 and weighing 230 pounds, Fannin's combination of athleticism, versatility, and elite production has made him a standout option in this draft. Thus far in 2024, He's led all FBS tight ends with over a thousand yards of receiving, showcasing his ability to create mismatches and dominate as a pass catcher. I believe his skill set could give the New England Patriots a multi dimensional offensive weapon that can add some versatility for AVP and have some mismatches for Drake to exploit at critical points in the game. I have already pointed out Penn State's tight end, Tyler Warren, who is certainly a full service tight end. It would be a great option for New England in the second round. Now, my analysis of Warren generated a lot of pushback because some people believe, quote, we are good at tight end, unquote. Well, yes and no. I know we have Hunter Henry and Hooper has been solid. Jaheim Bell is still a work in progress as an H-back. But I need to point out that Henry is getting up there in age and Hooper as well. Plus, Hooper's on a one-year contract and Jaheim's development is an unknown. So yeah, you need to look for additional tight end help. But you also have to consider Drake had an affinity for getting the ball to his tight ends in college and with the Patriots thus far. Another thing to point out, the Patriots tight ends are probably the best pass catchers on the team. So not only does the QB like the throw to them in general, they are kind of the best and in some cases the only option for Drake to throw to. And another thing to point out, who freaking cares if the acronym next to the player's name is a TE or WR? Watch Fannin's tape. Do you see a big inline tight end? Or do you see a, a big 6'4", 230 pound pass catcher running wide receiver routes in addition to being a respectable blocker? And another thing I'll point out, the Patriots just need upgrades, which is fine tuning and spot treating a roster to make a Super Bowl run. They just need upgrades and younger talent to set the foundation to get back to being competitive. I think a tight end like Fannin could be a great option, especially because he can adapt to different roles in their offense. You're just getting a good player. Fannin's route running and yards after catch ability would allow AVP to start putting in some precision passing plays where you can scheme Fannin into space. Without a doubt, Fannin's best skill is ability to get open from different formations. It's that versatility which could allow the Patriots to shift seamlessly between personnel groupings, confusing defenses, keeping them on the field, and creating favorable matchups. At some point in the game, Fanning is going to be mismatched, or someone else is going to get a mismatch because Fanning is forcing it. Now looking at other strengths, elite route running. For a tight end, it's pretty good. He creates separation with suddenness and agility, making him a consistent target at all levels of the field. His ability to win in tight spaces could finally allow Drake to unlock that consistent production from their intermediate passing game, which appears to be the first thing that really starts to slow up. Another thing, exceptional hands and ball skills. Fans' ability to pluck the ball out of the air in traffic would make him a reliable red zone target, and the Patriots really need someone else besides Hunter Henry to secure tough catches and not make, quote, business decisions over the middle of the field. Looking at his tape, Fanning has no problem going for those tough catches and fits that mold perfectly. Another thing, his yak ability. His stop-start quickness and lateral agility makes him a threat to turn short passes into big plays. Watching his tape, you can see some of his yak skills and he at least prevents getting stalled. He almost always gets an extra yard or two after each reception. Another thing to point out, blocking technique. Now, despite being a lighter framed tight end, he's technically sound and he has effort, something that the Patriots are going to need in the running game. I'm not saying it's amazing, but it's definitely an underrated part of his game. The big thing I see from it is willingness and motor. I expect his blocking to at least improve at the next level. Another thing that's impressive is his athletic profile. Looks like he's got about 4 six forty. Doing some digging in, looks like he's at least posted a 35-inch vert at some point. Bench 350, squats in the 600s. So, big strong dude. And another strength I have to highlight again is the versatility. He has experience in multiple alignments, which will allow the Patriots to use him as a chess piece. Disguising plays and creating mismatches, his ability to thrive in various roles could make him an invaluable weapon in the Patriots offense. Something the Patriots desperately need. 
Now, for weaknesses, size for inline blocking. He's only 230 pounds. He's not a big inline tight end. It's just reality, and that's okay. Like I said, I'm not going to be hung up on him having a TE next to his name on the depth chart. And that's why for the Patriots, I give the edge to Tyler Warren, but I have no problem with the Patriots using me as a receiver earlier on. Another thing I noticed, not exactly the best against press coverage. Looks like he's lacking a little bit of functional strength, something he can build upon. And the other thing is a limited route tree. He's a tight end, so I'm not expecting the full route tree. But at Bowling Green, he's been used a lot of screens and a lot of scheme touches, which will raise concerns about his ability to, to be more complex NFL offense, which the Patriots really don't have, but which is why I really don't put this on Fannin. It's more of a question about the Patriots being able to implement him correctly and develop him into his full potential. So when would the Patriots actually target him? It's kind of interesting because Fanning's ability to stretch the field as a receiver, coupled with his technical blocking skills, fits the mold for what the Patriots should be looking for in an offensive weapon. In an offense that historically has relied on tight ends as matchup nightmares, Fan's skill set would add a new dimension to their attack. He could complement current roster players like Hunter Henry while offering some long-term solution at the position. For when the Patriots are actually a target fanning, I would probably think maybe the third round. They have two of those this year, so that would be a big strategic move to maintain offensive versatility and bolster their passing game for years to come. Unfortunately, I don't think Fanning will make it to the third unless his pre-draft process falls off and his combine or pro day is lackluster. Now, typically I wouldn't expect him to be in the second round, but this year's wide receiver class is very thin at the top. And Fannin is one of the best pass catchers in all of college football. Seriously, I'm not making that up. As of November 23rd, he is second receiving yards, period. Overall, I'm not just saying amongst tight ends. He's got more than Tech McMillan, he's got more than Luther, he's got more than Amika, he's got more than Bond, all of them. The only person that's got him is Nick Nash, which is by about 100 yards. Again, you can get hung up on the TE or the WR designation on the team's website, or you can listen to the media or others talk about, about not needing a tight end, but I think Fannin could be a top three receiving option on the Patriots roster right now and be one of the critical pieces of the offensive puzzle that can get Drake moving in his second year. Anyway, what do you guys think of Harold? Do you think the Patriots should go after him? If so, when? Let me know in the comment section below. If you guys like this content, please like and subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching.